Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On October 22nd, the 339th Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly ended after passing 66 items among 77 presented. GTV examined the details. Among the items passed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly were two formulated as responses to Japanese restrictions on exports to Korea. These were ordinance drafts for the 12-month operation of a related special committee to strengthen the competitiveness of local materials and components industries. 일본 수출 규제로 인하여 시기적으로 관심이 높은 소재, 부품 산업 육성을 근거를 마련하는 등 조례 제정의 타당성이 높다고 판단하여 원안 가결하였습니다. Other items passed included those pertaining to quality of life for residents, such as public transportation cost support for youths, secondhand smoke prevention measures for children, and youth activity facility establishment. 청년들의 자발적 모임 활성화와 사회 참여 기회 증진 등 청년 권익 실현에 이바지하기 위해 The general meeting also saw the passage of ordinances to strengthen overseas travel requirements for provincial officials and support for e-sports. This was followed by five-minute speeches by assembly members. 상소관은 지하 매설로 육안으로 식별하기 어려운 환경에서 지속적으로 노화가 되므로 제대로 파악하고 선제적으로 대응하려면 전문 인력과 첨단 장비를 투입 수시로 모니터링을 해야 합니다. 신도시 개발에서 발생한 문제점을 정확히 분석하여 3기 신도시 개발 방향을 설정하고 경기도와 경기도시공사가 신도시 참여 지분을 최대한 확보하여 모범적인 신도시 개발 사례로 남을 수 있도록 The next Kyungi Provincial Assembly session, which will include inquiries into administrative affairs, is slated to start on November 5th and will run for 46 days. On October 18th, Kyungi Province received the second annual National Assembly inspection of its current administration. During the inspection, National Assembly members praised Kyungi Province for its efforts to prevent the spread of African swine fever and for other exemplary policies. During the inspection, which was conducted by the National Assembly Public Administration and Security Committee, Kyungi Province's decisive response to African swine fever drew keen interest and positive appraisals, as well as a call for a fundamental resolution. 우리 이제 공무원분들도 관계자분들께서 또 열심히 해주신 덕분에 어, 이 우리 그 최우 그 최북단 방어선까지 그 밑으로 남아하지는 않는 것 같습니다. 어, 감사드리고요. 저는 경기도가 그래도 뭐 여유도 좀 있고 이렇게 모든 걸 선두로 가시니까 좀이 백신 생산하는데 손을 좀 댔으면 좋겠다. 네. 제가 주문하고 싶은 거는. 저도 사실은 그러고 싶습니다. Kyungi Province's Dr. Helicopter, the first 24-7 emergency helicopter service in Korea, also received positive appraisals. Dr. Helgi 부분 잘하셨어요. 그 부분은 아무튼 여력이 되면은 능력 있는 의사한테 그 다음에 일할 수 있는 자리를 마련해 주고 장비를 제공해 주는 것은 우리가 가야 될 길이다. 투입 비용은 실제로 엄청납니다. 인력도 상당히 많이 필요하고 한데. 저희가 이제 상징적으로라도 사람의 생명의 가치가 얼마나 소중한지를 보여주는 측면에서는 좀 확대할 필요가 있다고 생각합니다. 감사합니다. Among senior welfare policies, the 365-day solitary senior sunbathing program, which has produced good results, was recommended for nationwide expansion. 방문 간호사가 노인 분들을 직접 산책도 시키고 네. 산책을 시키는 과정에서 커뮤니티 형성도 하게 하고 하는 사업인데 이 사업이 저는 전국적으로 시행되면 좋겠다는 생각을 할 정도로 네. 굉장히 의미가 큽니다. 효과가 있다고 판단되기 때문에 좀 확대하고 이게 전국 단위로 될수 있도록 정부에 제안도 해 보도록 하겠습니다. The subjects of inspection also included representative Kyungi policies including those of local currency, youth basic income, and operating room CCTV system installation. Hewlett-Packard, a global information technology company commonly referred to as HP, recently signed a cooperation agreement with Kyungi Province 
and Sungnam City to support the successful launch of its R&D operations in Sungnam. Next month, an HP office will open in the Pangyo area, an IT industry district in Sungnam City. A 12-story research and development center is also being constructed nearby, with completion slated for 2022. These facilities will serve as a global strategic R&D hub for HP's printing business. Gyeonggi Province and Sungnam City will cooperate with HP in the successful realization of its R&D hub and will provide administrative support for matters such as licenses and permits. <laughs> HP asserted that it will fulfill its social responsibilities through contributions to the local economy as well as through education and charity work. With a projected total cost of 460 billion Korean won, or 400 million US dollars, HP's global strategic R&D hub will have significant effects in boosting the local economy, including the creation of more than 2,000 new jobs. Last month, Gyeonggi Province conducted pedestrian environment inspections and discovered a large number of substandard and faulty facilities. The province will work to remedy these unsafe elements by next year. At this pedestrian crossing near a tourist destination, the users of strollers and wheelchairs and those with limited mobility are inconvenienced by high curbs. The curbs are almost 20 centimeters high far beyond the maximum standard of two centimeters. On a nearby street, a large roadside tree stands almost in the center of the sidewalk, blocking wheelchair users. During the inspection, more than 4,000 pedestrian convenience facilities and 90 pedestrian traffic safety facilities were found to be substandard or defective. These safety hazards for pedestrians were found at average intervals of 13 meters. Gyeonggi Province will improve approximately 1,500 defective facilities this year, with the remainder being targeted for improvement next year after the necessary budget has been secured. 예, 이번 감사를 통해서 우리 교통약자뿐만 아니라 일반 보행자들도 안전하고 편안하게 이 시내 곳곳을 다닐 수 있도록 조성하도록 하겠습니다. The subjects of the inspections, which ran from September 2nd to 27th, encompass streets surrounding 30 public facilities, including subway stations, tourist destinations, hospitals, and welfare centers for the disabled. Inspections were performed by Gyeonggi Province with the assistance of 20 residents. 실제로 타신 분이 도로를 지나갈 수 없다라든가 또 그리고 횡단보도로 지나갈 때 시간이라든가 그리고 어 음성 표시라든가 시각적인 표, 표시가 안돼 있어서 그것을 정말 필요로 하는 분들에게 어 장애 요소로 with assistance from residents, Gyeonggi Province will continue inspections of subjects that closely affect quality of life for residents. On October 23rd, Gyeonggi Province and Gwangju Metropolitan City signed an agreement to cooperate in the promotion of the artificial intelligence or AI industry. To this end, the two authorities will establish a joint cooperation center and share related know-how. Gyeonggi Province is home to Pangyo Techno Valley, Korea's largest complex for high-tech industries, while Gwangju Metropolitan City is currently developing an AI convergence technology cluster worth 400 billion Korean won. With these technological resources, the two authorities expect to generate synergy effects through collaboration. Gwangju and Gyeonggi Do are the main players in the development of AI. 
경기도와 광주의 만남이 인공지능 4대 강국 대한민국을 만드는 데 중요한 역할을 할수 있기를 기대합니다. The two authorities agreed to establish a cooperation center that will oversee multifaceted efforts, including support for enterprises and research institutes in the AI industry. The signing of the agreement was followed by a demonstration of AI robots developed by a startup enterprise in Gyeonggi province. With a common interest in AI industry development, the two authorities will lead the advancement of the AI industry in Korea while contributing to the national economy. Gyeonggi province is currently implementing a number of projects centered on Pangyo Techno Valley to foster the AI industry environment. In Korea, there are designated zones in which pharmacies are permitted to perform both drug prescription and dispensing services. Typically located in areas that lack hospital services, there are 70 such pharmacies in Gyeonggi province. During investigations of these pharmacies, Gyeonggi province uncovered those that have engaged in illegal practices, such as this one that stores large amounts of pre-produced prescription drugs. 약사님 말씀은 네, 미리 네. 빨리 하기 위해서 이걸 해놓으셨다고 하는데 네. 그렇게 하면 안 되는 거예요. 네. 그렇게 안 되는 거잖아요. 네. 뭔지가 잘못된 거예요. Taking advantage of locational difficulties in drug control, this pharmacy also sold drugs past their effective dates. 여기 조제실에 이제 묘기간 지난 시메티딘 정제산 주기양 치료제가 있었어요. These pharmacies are prohibited from displaying signs that indicate they can prescribe and sell drugs without prescriptions. A pharmacy even prescribed cold medications that contained psychoactive drugs. During this inspection of 26 suspected pharmacies in related zones, the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police uncovered violations at 10 locations. Violations included the pre-production of prescription drugs, selling drugs past effective dates, and selling drugs with high risks of adverse effects. 환자 만나지 않은 상태에서 사전에 대량 제조해서 마치 공산품처럼 팔므로, 팔므로 인해서 유통기한도 알수 없고 또 하나는 면역 체계 이상 등 부작용이 발생할 수 있다. 이게 가장 큰 문제라고 생각. Apprehended pharmacies were reported to the police and referred to local authorities for administrative punishments. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police will expand the scope of these inspections throughout the province. On October 24th, Gyeonggi Province and the Fair Trade Commission signed an agreement to cooperate in the realization of a fair economic order and to expand fair trade culture. After the signing ceremony, Gyeonggi Province also declared its 2020 vision for fairness, which targets the creation of a fair, transparent, and virtuous Gyeonggi Province. Based on this agreement, Gyeonggi Province and the Fair Trade Commission will pursue joint efforts for the establishment of an unfair practice prevention system, the survey of the current environment, the protection of consumer rights, and the operation of an executive body. 공정위는 경기도와 함께 협업 체계를 강화하고 긴밀히 소통하며 활력이 넘치는 공정 경제를 만들기 위한 모든 지원을 아끼지 않을 것임을 약속드리겠습니다. 과거에 그 잘못된 관행이나 제도가 계속될 것인지 아니면 새로운 희망을 만들 것인지 어쨌든 거기에 저는 공정의 가치가 핵심이라고 봅니다. 어쨌든 새로운 모범을 한번 만들어 보도록 노력하겠고요. Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung asked the Fair Trade Commission to transfer some of its authority to the province so as to facilitate the eradication of unfairness from the province. The signing of the agreement was followed by the declaration of the 2020 Vision for Fairness by Gyeonggi Province. The declared vision includes three strategies, developing a fair economic order, realizing fairness in taxation, and eradicating unfairness. Gyeonggi Province plans to operate a tax delinquency management team, intensify delinquent tax collection, and conduct inspections of public life and economy-related crimes. The province has been pursuing multifaceted efforts, including the establishment of the first Fairness Bureau among Korean autonomies this past July, so as to realize a fair Gyeonggi 
province. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.